The U.S. Senate Republican primary in Ohio gets a little more crowded. One America's Sam Volk tells us why. What if Ohio's next senator didn't just talk big and loud, but had a real record of conservative success? State Senator Matt Dolan announces his campaign for the open U.S. Senate seat in Ohio. In his announcement, Dolan, a Republican, promises that his record in the state Senate gives him what he needs to represent the Buckeye State in D.C. He doesn't want to run to further his own career, however, instead saying he wants this race to be about Ohio's needs. Dolan especially wants to focus on making sure budgets stay balanced without raising taxes. He sits as the state's Senate finance chairman, giving him heavy influence over the budget in the state. In fact, his most recent state budget, praised by the Ohio GOP as the most conservative in state history, cut income taxes by 5% across the board. It's part of a, uh, a series of tax cuts that we have provided Ohioans over the years to make sure that Ohio's income tax is low and competitive and attractive. Dolan also wants to make sure elections are free and fair across the U.S., not just in Ohio. The senator led the charge to protect the Ohio legislature's sovereignty over elections, noting the Democrats in D.C. are trying to suppress their constitutional rights with the so-called For the People Act election overhaul. If elected to the U.S. Senate, Dolan promises to push for voter ID laws so all states have fair election systems. While he is conservative, he wants the race for Senate to be about the people of Ohio, not partisan political priorities. In a recent op-ed before his official announcement, Dolan slammed candidates in the primary for criticizing the bipartisan infrastructure bill. The senator who negotiated and wrote the bill, Republican Rob Portman, is who Dolan and the others are seeking to replace when he retires next year. Dolan believes the criticisms provided by opponents are unfair to Portman, saying the outgoing senator is just looking out for Ohioans. He would support the bipartisan bill, saying it is wrong to tie it to the partisan reconciliation package, which he opposes and sees as a radical wish list for Democrats. Being the only Republican to support Portman's bipartisan bill, he hopes to shape his image as a pragmatic conservative. If he is chosen as the candidate, many say he would be in the mold of moderates who previously occupied that seat such as astronaut Democrat John Glenn, former Cleveland mayor Republican George Voinovich, and the incumbent Republican Portman. It's he's pro-business, pro-growth. Dolan is a fiscally conservative Republican. We're in the mold of the late George Voinovich. A tough but pragmatic politician. Dolan believes he'll stand out in the crowd. So far, Dolan has to defeat at least 10 other Republicans in the May primary to get the nomination. On top of this, the chance for new candidates to enter the already crowded field doesn't end until February. Sam Volk, One America News. A federal judge denies Rudy Giuliani's request to return evidence seized by the FBI back in April. A New York District Judge denied the request last week. Giuliani's legal team has maintained that the search of his apartment and office was unconstitutional and a breach of attorney-client privilege as Trump's personal attorney. Federal investigators have sought evidence related to former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. Giuliani has consistently denied lobbying for anyone in Ukraine or working for an agent of a foreign government. The Senate is set to consider the nominations of two potential judges this week. Members of the upper chamber will vote on whether to confirm Biden judicial nominee Veronica Rossman today. Rossman was tapped by Biden to serve as the U.S. Circuit Judge for the Tenth Circuit. The members will convene at noon Eastern time. And then on Tuesday, the cloture motion on Margaret Strickland's nomination to serve as the U.S. District Court for the District of New York.